Hi everyone, A Hicken here. Um, sorry I ain't done a video for a couple of weeks, but uh, been a bit busy. And as you can see, there's my Mexican red knee, uh, around about a three inch female. She's come out to say hello. So I've got some roaches here. Um, put some lettuce in there so they can have a, something to eat. So I'm just going to pick out a nice size roach um, for her. Well, that one seems alright. She should. She might not be um she might not be hungry. Oh I think she may be hungry. Bald spots going a little bit dark, so probably do a malt and there we go. She's taking it down. Nicely there. As you know guys, bought this from the expo uh this year. I'm hoping it's female. It looks female. The bloke said it was female, so I'll be a bit gutted if it turns out to be male. So that's the Mexican red knee all fed. Uh, next up is going to be my Canterbury Genicolada, uh, about a six and a half inch female. I haven't fed her for a couple of weeks, so she should um, should take this down. Get this off a nice size roach for you guys. Here he goes. Uh, there we go. She always eats um, all the time. So you look at the abdomen's fairly big and plump. So that's why I've left her for a couple of weeks. I haven't fed her for a while. Water dish is nice and full. Uh, probably need to go and spray her enclosure. Lift the humidity is only 50, so I'll lift the humidity up a little bit. Um, G Rosea. Uh, she's okay. She don't need feeding. I fed her couple of days ago just a small cricket so yeah uh, bald spots going a bit black so probably do a malt soon I'd say then I reckon she'll be fully grown around about seven inches when she's next uh, malted so that's her done uh, Mexican red knees done so next up I'm going to feed my tea blonde this is around about a Two and a half, to, say a three inch female, um, always eats, never never um, disappoints. There's a little water dish there, don't a water dish too big. So she um, eats fairly well, there's a nice size roach there for her. Here we go guys. This was confirmed female. Um, did pay a lot of money for her. I think around about 90, 95 posted. But it did definitely a female. Somebody got a uh, microscope and checked the apogastric furrow. So it was 100% definite female. She's going to be absolutely massive when she's fully grown. I haven't fed them for about 8, 9 days. So they're all due a, a nice feed. So yeah guys, um, yeah, she should enjoy that. I'll just turn the light off, see if it's any better for you. No, you can't see nothing. So put the light back on for you. So that's her uh, all sorted. She should enjoy that. Uh, next up is going to be my OBT. This is around about a two and a half inch female that I got off my good friend Jordan Smith. An absolute bargain and as you can see she's done a little tunnel just there so what I'll do is guys I'll just place the roach around about there I think I can see a malt there that's yeah, part of a malt when she malted inside the uh, enclosure so what she's done she's just pushed the malt out so what I'll do is guys I'll just grab another roach for you that one should be alright. Here you go guys. She should uh should take it down straight away. She hasn't been fed for about nine days, so she should enjoy that. As you know, this is a burrowing species, so that's why there's loads of um substrate everywhere. 
Oh, there she is. Looking absolutely beautiful. I'll just try and switch my light on for you guys. I'll try and switch this off, see if you can see a bit better. And there she is. No, it looks rubbish. <laughs> So she should enjoy that. She's looking absolutely beautiful now. I'd probably say, yeah, about two and a half, getting towards the three inch mark. Absolute bargain, only paid ten pounds for her. As soon as that roach moves, hopefully she'll grab it straight away. But I will leave her to it. See what happens. I'll let you know, guys, in the description if she's eating, eating it or not. Which is a possibility she will probably will. <laughs> Let's put that one back. Uh, next up, I'm going to feed my Megatholoides. Our Megatholoides. She's just well, saying she. I'm hoping it's a female. So what I'll do is, guys, I'll just uh, put my phone down there for you so we can get this off. And get myself a roach. I'll do take the lid off first. She should, uh, she should eat. She, in the, uh, she never disappoints me. There we go. Oh, she just decided to uh, <laughs> shoot across the enclosure. Just scared her a little bit. That's it's good. Good about these tongs. That they're absolutely fairly long, as you can see. Look, they're a good two foot long. So yeah, they're really really good. I think she might. Get that when it's oh there we go. And they web up absolutely loads as you can see look, that's why I got a massive tall enclosure for her. Because I like to web up a lot. I'm doing a video! No ta. That's my mum always calls me when I'm doing a video every single time. But we'll leave her to that. I think she'll grab it, hopefully, eventually. As soon as that roach moves, she'll have that straight away. Let's put the lid back on. And close her back on the uh, two wardrobe. Uh, next up, I'm going to feed my... Tiapophysis. This is a um, round about a seven inch, seven inch female. Got to change the substrate because you can see all the mould inside there. So I've got the great task of getting all the substrate out and uh, uh, get a nice large roach for her. Uh, that's a male. So what I'll do is I'll grab the wing and let's see if oh. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I dropped the, uh, drop, accidentally dropped the roach. Well, she should enjoy that. Her abdomen's looking nice and big and plump. So, yeah, she should enjoy that. I reckon she's due a shed probably in the next 12 months or so. Well, she molted seven months ago, so she's mature now. So they usually grow after maturity, about once every 18 months. So I'm hoping she'll, another 10, 11 months, and then she'll be shedding again. And then that'll be just amazing to see how big she'll get. She's at, this, is, this, this one's not for sale. I'll never, ever sell her. I'd sell all the rest if it, you know, the worst comes to the worst. But I would never sell her. She's my pride and joy. So that's all that's her sorted. Put the lid on, I'll just move the 
enclosure back in. And the megatholoid is, I think it's eating. I think she's grabbed her dinner. Well, I'll leave her to it. See what happens. Uh, this will be the last one. As I only can record around about 10 11 minutes on my iPhone, I can't record that long. So, there's my skeleton tea just there. So, what I'll do is, guys, I'll just slowly take the lid off here. Oh, she bubbed up her entrance again, but. Um, I'd put a roach in, see if she's hungry, see what happens. Oh, I'll just get my... That's a nice size roach, I'd say. She, uh... Should be on great. I think she's just yeah. There she is, just there, lot. Just at the bottom of her um, burrow. And the cockroach is going down its walk of death, <laughs> straight down the burrow. So I'll keep filming as long as I can, guys. Let's see what happens. Right. Just there we go. She should be hungry, I think. Oh, there we go. I think she's got it. Well, she's come right next to it. You can see her legs just, uh, just there. I think she's got it. Well, we'll leave her to it anyway. And let her dry. Hopefully, she'll enjoy a meal. She's just down there. But if she's not hungry, then so be it. Uh, the slings don't need feeding. I fed all my uh, for my slings a couple of days ago, so they're all okay. So I'll do another feeding video a bit later. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching.